Number four then from the 2018 SQA Hanger Maths Paper 1 format question here Tangent to a circle Well, you're given a circle with a point on it K, 8, negative 5 you need to get the equation of the tangent to the circle at that point and you've got the equation of the circle here in the expanded form and the general form Well, you're used to finding the equation of a tangent to a curve by differentiating the equation of the curve but in the higher you don't know how to differentiate that so you can't do it that way you'll have to do it geometrically but actually the geometrical way is easier than differentiation anyway the geometrical way is simply to say this if you've got a tangent to a circle then drawing the radius from the centre to that point of tangency the radius must meet the tangent at right angles so since you want the equation of a line you need two things a point on it, you've got it it's gradient, you can get the gradient by reference to the gradient of the radius because you can get the gradient of the radius because you know the centre and you know the point K you know two points on the line so the first thing would be what's the centre of that circle? extract it from this equation you don't need to bother with your F's and G's you can identify it readily it's these two coefficients half them because when you square that bracket out, x minus a squared, they got doubled. Half them, and it's whatever's been subtracted. Half them and change their signs. Half it, and forget the negative, makes the x coordinate 6. Half it, and forget the negative, makes the y coordinate 3. And just writing that down gets a mark. Now you can get the gradient of the radius. Call it mr, or call it, maybe we'll call it ck in this case. Difference in the y coordinates. Negative 5, take away 3. Or maybe you could just jump straight in with the answer. 8, take away 6 for the difference in the x coordinates in the same order. Negative 8 upon 2, negative 4. And that looks about right because it's down and it's steep. That's worth a mark. That means the gradient of the tangent is going to be the negative of the reciprocal, so that's positive a quarter. That's worth a mark. Now it's just feed it all in. Well, that's the point, and that's the gradient. There's nothing special about that, so I'll just have to use the full thing. Y minus B is MX minus A. Y minus the Y coordinate. Remember, it's this point, not the centre. It's going through K. Y minus the Y coordinate, be able to go in with a plus 5, is the gradient, a quarter times X minus the X coordinate, which is 8. Now it's up to you how you want to rearrange that. You can't just leave it like that, though because we've got numbers, constants that need to become a single constant. Usually you get rid of fractions. But when the fraction only belongs to the gradient and the rest of it's neat, it's actually quite handy leaving it like that. A quarter of x, because that divides and makes a 2, bringing that 5 across, that's not a bad form for the answer. y equals a quarter x minus 7. Gradient a quarter cuts the y-axis at negative 7. But if you didn't like that, of course, at any point you could change it into any other form. You could change it just by multiplying them by 4. To begin with, you'd have 4y is x minus 28. But that's actually quite a handy one when you've got it in the form of y equals mx plus c, as long as there's not too many fractions there.